It's your girl Asta Joy coming at you with another video. On this channel, we love to talk about love, light, joy, and peace. So if you, my friend, are one of those amazing light beings that are spreading these good vibrations to the planet, then hit subscribe down below right now and stay updated. Join the Good Vibes Delivery family. Thank you. All right, fam. So today I wanted to talk about light language because, um, Honestly, it's something that I don't really think much of, but I do know that it has been getting more people are getting in touch with their own, uh, you know, heart speak dialect, and it's very beautiful. So, with that being said, I wanted to talk a little bit about my experiences with light language, um, and yeah, so um, when I was younger, I knew that there was a better way to communicate and it had to do with just speaking from your heart because your heart cannot be misinterpreted. Your heart does not skew information. It just gives you how it is. With that being said, I was, I spent a lot of time alone as a kid. I spent a lot of time talking to myself and in my own head. I have four siblings, so it's not like I live alone and I'm a lonely child. I had a very rich life with them, but I just felt being the only child and being homeschooled, um, I didn't really spend as much time maybe with my family or other people so I spent a good amount of time really just being with myself in my own head alone and I've gotten to a point of I guess like understanding within myself which I really appreciate from a young age that has helped me find company in my own time and um, yeah so um, yeah, childhood, I feel like a lot of people are very in touch with their their light language dialect. Um, like when kids first are born, what language are they speaking? What language do you think they're speaking, people? Okay, what language is that goo goo gaga? What are they doing? What are they doing over there, right? So when you really think about it, it's that we've just been conditioned to communicate in this earthly way with the languages that we grew up with um, given like they are very powerful because of the intent put behind each um, each one but there is something even more powerful that comes without the conditioning that we initially had put on ourselves um, when we strip away the feeling of feeling like what we say is going to be misunderstood when we strip that away because we speak from our heart that is when we are in tune with our own light language dialect because it truly is just a language of the heart that cannot be misunderstood because it is so true and pure and it is coming from a place that detects those frequencies of unconditional love so it is like a wonderful way to connect with everything in your immediate surroundings, to connect with everything that's within your mind. I know a lot of people like are confused about who, how do you learn light language? Like, um, and it's not really something you learn per se, because again, everyone has their own light language that they were born in this earth with. Uh, the light language is the best way I can put it is like um, how much do you integrate your own soul on this earth and you will find that light language can be in any language and that's why it really doesn't matter how it comes out it's about how it feels um, about how what are you conveying with the sounds that you are making that you are creating so I know personally, like, light language can be used as a tool in chakra medicine, in chakra healing. You can use light language to atone, attune, 
every one of your chakra and your energy bodies. Of course, you can do it for the big ones and you can use uh, mantras such as Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, And you can do many, many different sound combinations. Um, what I love about it is that it's not as much as what you may think this, the, the sound is from your, you know, your like um, mental conditioning being on earth with all these people that are just being mindlessly conditioned because they aren't awake yet. Uh, throwing no shade at anyone, everyone's on their own path, and we're all in this together. So with that being said, um, I just find light language to be a very powerful way to tap into your own core vibration, and by doing that, you're stripping away all of those conditioning layers because you are once again getting back in tune with your core. And um, yeah, that is you're becoming one almost like you're going back to your baby self and talking to yourself as a kid i believed i could talk to babies and cats i would be like i i was just a kid that would just smirk in the background like and yeah i no one knew what was going on in my head but yeah, anyways, I feel like now it's just like, wow, wow, like I've worked with babies and I know that to a very large extent, yes, they can understand light language very, very well. They are very reciprocal. When I used to be a swim instructor and I would teach like six months olds and year olds with their parents and I would have to decondition the parents fear of the child drowning and then I would because the child already knew how to swim so I was just deconditioning the parent to allow their child to let go of them and show the parent that the child could swim and I really enjoyed like that was very rewarding because working with like those younger kids and just kind of um, even though I was like a complete stranger to most of these like young little babies to be able to look into their eyes and just see these adorable little sparks of con human consciousness that is being brought up in the ways of the world it was just like wonderful to see how every one of my babies learned how to swim and you know by the time they were two years old they could swim to the wall by themselves and hop out and they were just it was awesome and like I wouldn't like go around and saying light language per se to the children um, I wouldn't use words I would just use normal words but I would I would be communicating with the children to convey a level of trust in themselves and allow them to give themselves permission to allow the parents to trust them in this and I don't know why that feels like the best analogy I have for light language maybe we are the parent and the child and we are trying to allow ourselves to trust our baby selves because maybe that adorable innocence does know best for us after all and if we take care of ourselves ourselves like we are a baby then truly we will always be happy and nurtured for um so <laughs> yeah that is all i have for this uh video if you like this video if you're interested in learning more about light language i will be covering uh light language through the chakras and how we can activate different chakra points through the use of sound and um our own vocal expression so if you are interested in that then look down below in the description box to sign up for the emails so you will be updated when we are launching that 
beautiful Chopper 101 course. And of course, I am so thankful for you. If you like this video, then press that thumbs up so I know so and I can continue to make more videos like this one. Of course, of course. My good vibers, good vibe delivery family, I love you all so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Like, really, what are you doing here? <laughs> nah, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.